Hello, this is the uh, first of a few short films I'm going to make showing you the benefits of taking your TurboCAD drawings into Google SketchUp and what SketchUp can do for them. I've uh, put some objects here in the drawing. We've got uh, a shed here using the architectural tools. We've got a door, walls, a couple of windows and a roof. Over here we've got something that's supposed to represent a, a fountain. This is drawn using a 2D profile and then the revolve tool. Here's the revolve tool over here. It's a very simple tool to use, very effective. And then we've got a loft. Now, on the loft, we've got I've got three boxes here, which are simply construction geometry. Four 2D profiles, a circle here, a polygon, a regular polygon here, a regular polygon down there, and a circle up here. And then you, uh, you use the lofting tool, which is this one here, and you simply click on to the, the 2D profiles uh, in order, and then hit the finish flag at the bottom, and it creates the loft, which is a, in TurboCAD a 3D solid. Now what we're going to do now is save this and take this into Google SketchUp. Um, <coughs> we don't really need these boxes. But we might want to come back at some point and change perhaps the size of this circle or, or, or this polygon, whatever it is. So it might be an idea to keep the boxes, just uh, take, just make them invisible and therefore put them on a different layer um, and so they don't show up when we take them into SketchUp. And then we can always use them again if we need to, but we don't need to. So this one here I've put on the layer called Boxes and this one here I have, so I'm going to turn off the visibility. <coughs> Just so that you can see what's going to happen or how we can take the boxes away in Google SketchUp, I'm going to leave that box there. So we go to File and we go to Save As. And I've already given it a name, uh, TC into SU with Lofting. Here obviously when I go to Save, first of all it defaults to uh, TCW, the TurboCAD uh, native file format. And when I click on here, uh, this is uh, TurboCAD Professional Platinum 17.2. I've got all these different file formats I can save in. Now my file format of choice would be Collada. We could use uh, DWG if we wished, but Collada's, for my money and for a lot of people I speak to, probably in terms of 3D modeling, the best one to use. So I save it as Collada, and it's called the latest one, and I just click on to save. Uh, this comes up, it's sort of something that says, well, you know, you're saving a different file format, maybe everything might not work properly. In, a, in reality, the people who are creating these files are just covering their backs in case something doesn't quite work well, but we'll be fine, so we just say yes. Um, sorry, that's, that's the message that says that. And we save. We can then open... Uh, can sketch up. We'll uh, get rid of the girl, and we go to file, and we're going to import. Uh, well, it's already come up here. But it's films, the latest. There it is, and it's a Clara, and so we just say open. <coughs> um, normally, this is really quite quick and quite instant, but this computer I'm using is not the. Uh, not the latest version by a long way, and we're using a lofting uh, shape here, which is quite complicated, so it's not immediate, but that, I think you agree that's pretty fast. So yeah, as you can see, everything's come in just as we wanted. Now we can now use all the good, nice SketchUp tools, so we can use the push-pull to change things. So if I go to, uh, you see this lofting has been triangulated here. So if I want to pull one of these out, I'll just hit P on the uh, keyboard to push pull and go to push pull. But then there's this thing and it's, it's effectively saying, no, I can't do it. I can't do it simply because this image has come in as a group. So what I do is I select the group, right click, explode. Now again, because it's a, a little bit of a complicated uh, drawing and that and it's because of that lofting shape it's not instant normally it's much quicker than this but the more complicated and unusual shapes just a little bit longer it'll take but it won't take very long at all
you can see by the flashing cursor that it's working its way through and there we go it's done just click anywhere to deselect now the whole thing is uh, it's individual pieces so now if we wanted to get rid of this box we could use the uh, erase tool I hit E on the keyboard and I can as you can see I can still take get rid of that box but obviously I've got more to do now and so really you'd have been best off getting rid of the whole thing in the first place outside this sh this lofted shape I can click on the end and I can delete these bits and you'll see that it's turned from a solid which which it was in a uh, turbocad now into a surface and we can go into this shape we can change the shape we can pull out any of these if we hit p for push pull we can pull out any of these things and make all sorts of unusual shapes and push that up as well pull that out we can use all the push pull shapes we can even use the push pull shapes on our architectural uh, parts in the, in our uh, our shed here so we can push pull that there that there even the facets of the roof if we wanted to so we can do all sorts of things so we've got all those possibilities and that's that's it for for this film thank you